Tesla coils are known to transmit energy wirelessly. They can light up fluorescent tubes, neon bulbs and sometimes LEDs just by bringing it close to it. But when it comes to powering other devices like a fan, a smartphone or some home appliances, it doesn't work that way. And this is where the Tesla coil receiver comes in. What this receiver coil does is that it collects these EM waves and transforms it into usable electricity that can then power gadgets such as phones, bulbs, fans and other things. Now let me show you what I mean here. This is a Tesla coil or the transmitter coil. If you want to know how I built this then check my previous video. Link to video is in the description below. Over here is the receiver coil. This is just around 600 to 700 tons of 0.1 mm enameled copper coil and this one down here is just around 2 tons of 1 mm enameled copper coil. This is just like a transformer setup. What it does is that it receives the high voltage AC from the Tesla coil and then steps it down to a low voltage AC. Now that low voltage AC goes, goes into this rectifier. This rectifier converts AC to DC. This capacitor helps to filter out the ripples in the voltage. And what you have here is a smooth DC output. Also, one end of this receiver coil is connected to this metal cap over here. And the other end is connected to this flat metal plate. This is called the tuner. It's used for adjusting the frequency of the receiver coil so that it can match with that of the transmitter coil in order to achieve resonance. So here I just hooked up this transmitter to a 19 volt DC power supply and I'm going to turn it on here. So just watch the LED that I placed at the receiver end and it's going to come on. Yeah, it has come on but it's kind of very very low. So we have to adjust this tuner so we can achieve resonance. So I'm going to take it closer. Yeah, you can see the bulb is increasing. Yeah exactly ouch i think at this point resonance is achieved so you can see the transmission of the uh, energy is at its maximum yeah and if you also take this backward the further you take it the lesser the energy being transferred yeah now let me show you something here if i'm going to take this very very close and then I take my hand closer to the transmitter you see that the bulb is going to become brighter and if I take my hand too close the bulb is going to reduce so you can see this it's as if I'm using my hand to also tune the frequency so there is a point at which I will keep my hand where the bulb will be brighter at that point is resonance if I take it too close the frequency will go out of phase and if I take it too far, the frequency will go out of phase. But that particular point uh, where the LED is brighter, that is resonance. Why this happens is because this whole setup forms an LC circuit. The coil over here acts like the inductor, which is L. And then my hand, together with this metal cap over here, acts like a capacitor. Like the two plates of a capacitor. So bringing it closer and further, it's like you are changing the value of the capacitance which will now change the overall value of the frequency that is the same principle we are using for this tuner the closer you take the metal plates or the further you take the metal plates you are adjusting the frequency of the whole circuit so that is why whenever i take my hand closer at some point resonance occurs it's just like i'm adjusting the frequency of the transmitter now let's try to charge a phone with this We'll check for the maximum distance and also the efficiency. Here I just connected an Android phone. I used a 5V regulator over here to limit the output to 5V. So now let's turn on the transmitter to see if it would be able to charge the phone. And as you can see it's charging. <laughs> this is nice. Don't mind my phone screen. Uh, but as you can see the phone is charging. There are no external hidden batteries. All the power is coming from the transmitter which is powered by 19 volts power supply now let's adjust the transmitter further to see if it will still charge the phone and now as you can see it's still charging yeah still charging let's adjust it even further to see if it will still charge the phone and as you can see it's still charging yeah still charging over here now let's adjust it to the end of the board to see if it will still charge the phone 
and as you can see here it's still charging still charging yeah there are no external hidden batteries and as you can see it's coming all the way from that end i tried shifting the transmitter even further but the phone didn't seem to charge well we got a maximum distance of 0.8 meters while charging a phone not bad i couldn't calculate the efficiency because my multimeter started misbehaving as a result of the high voltage it was as though the multimeter was wirelessly reading the high voltage in the atmosphere well, if we are going to assume the efficiency, I used a power adapter of 65 watts. So let's say the input is around 60 watts. Then let's also assume that our phone consumes around 3 watts of power. Therefore, the efficiency will be around 5%, which is kind of very, very poor. But at least we have 0.8 meters of transmission range, which is quite good. But if we are going to implement this idea, we we'll have to make it portable, like squeezing the whole receiver coil into a flat coil pad, which we can just attach to the back of the smartphone. Then the transmitter itself can be like a flat coil mounted to the top of a room. With this, you should be able to charge your phone anywhere you are in that room. Won't it be nice? Well, I don't think I'll be building that anytime soon. Maybe later in the future, but you can go ahead, explore more, and if you have any ideas or any thoughts about this video, then put it down in the comment section. Also remember that Tesla coils can be hazardous sometimes because of their high voltage. For me, I don't really see much danger in the electromagnetic waves, as people say. But however it is, just make sure to stay safe. Also don't forget to subscribe to Mechtron Tech and give a thumbs up to this video.